good to see you. Today we have a binder. And it kind of reminds me of the trapper keepers that they used to make. Uh, that Mead made back in the 80s. And part of the early 90s. But this is just a uh, three ring binder. Let's see. It's not like a fancy trapper keeper. But today we're going to take this binder and we're going to put stickers all over it. Let's take a look at the back. Now the back has the same pattern, this plaid, and it gradually fades like it up here. It's, it's, um, it's lighter. And then in this part we have yellow. And then down here it's more of a, um, like a coral color. And in the middle, it says, check this out. So if we have enough stickers, we could even add some to the back of this binder. It's quite festive. See, it has two peace signs on it. A larger one here. And then a smaller one. And a flower that's purple. And the middle is blue and pink and yellow. And up here is a blue flower. There's like one petal that looks a little purple because of the pink peace sign behind it. And then this part is uh, purple and yellow. And over here we have the word peace down this way. And in the background, the same plaid as the back. So let's take a look at the stickers. Now I have three sheets of each type. I have two types here. First we have these little, uh, My Little Pony stickers, and I will confess to you that I don't know the name of all the ponies. So if you're a big My Little Pony fan, um, you probably don't want to watch this because I will probably just refer to them as like the pretty blue one with the rainbow mane and tail. Um, My Little Pony first came out when I was significantly younger, but I was never interested in that kind of stuff, so... And then we have these adorable little unicorns and rainbows and little clouds. And we have the words dream and sparkle. And it looks like all three sheets are the same. So we're going to remove these stickers one at a time. And we're going to stick them all over this binder. Like you may have done, like if you're my age, you might have done that with your travel keeper when you were younger. <laughs> I did that. I had um, collections of scratch and sniff stickers and the puffy stickers. Like you could press on it and it, it felt kind of puffy. I used to like the puffy ones and then when I was sitting in class, I'd kind of pick at it and gradually peel it off my trapper keeper. Okay, so this was back in the days before internet. We didn't really have anything to entertain ourselves with, <laughs> so we had to make do. All right, so like I said, we'll start with the front, and then um, if we have enough stickers, we'll go to the back. So let's take a look at these My Little Pony stickers. Now this one up at the top here has three ponies together. Very cute. Sort of a yellowish orange one pony and a blue one and a purple one, like a pastel purple. So I'm thinking one right in the middle. The piece simple right there. And then we have this one here. It's white with a purple mane and tail. This is a smaller sticker. And we'll put that right on the piece symbol right there. Oh, and here we have two together on a cloud. It's 
of purple, like a lilac one and the blue one again. Let's put that one up in this corner. And then next we have the white one again with the purple mane and tail. This is one of the smaller stickers. Let's put that right over here on this edge. Like that. Now this one looks like it would be two stickers, but it's actually one together. It's a pink My Little Pony and the lilac colored one again actually a pretty big sticker. Let's see here. That's pretty big. Let's look down here. Now we do have space here. Let's put it right over the edge of this flower. Like that. And then we have the pink one here looking sassy. Let's look at the smaller piece symbol. I'm going to kind of overlay it where a little bit of it kind of overlaps the piece symbol right there. Oh, here's a yellow one with a pink mane and tail. Looks like it's winking or having some sort of issue. This is a small one. It would be easy to overlook. So let's put it on a solid background where it will stand out a little more. Right there looks good. And then this one again, the pastel purple. I'm thinking, I don't want to cover up the word here. I kind of want to leave that out. But we could put this one here where it's kind of looking at the word or the letter P anyway. And here we have two together. I don't know what this looks like. The, the lilac one is kicking that one in the head, but I'm pretty sure it's not what's actually going on. I, I confess I don't really understand the whole fascination with My Little Pony. Like I said, if you're really into it, you might not want to watch this. <laughs> Sorry, it might be like blasphemy or something. I'm not sure. Some people are very passionate about my Little Pony. I'm not trying to take anybody off. Now here's this one again, making a playful pose. I keep putting this one on the uh, pink part. Let's put this one down here on the smaller piece symbol. And here are three of them together, looking cozy. Now this I'm thinking I want to put on the plaid background here. Um, like maybe right there. And the purple one again. Let's mix them up a little bit. This one I'm going to put in the corner. Right down there. And here we have these two. This one makes me think of pink lemonade for some reason. This It's yellow and it has a pink mane and tail. And then we have the uh, blue one with the rainbow mane and tail. Let's do that one right there where all the action is. Like we have the purple flower and the pink um, peace sign. Oh, and here the two of them are hugging. It's the pink one and the blue one. And this one's kind of big. Let's put this one right about there. And here's the pink one, the yellow one again with the pink mane and tail. It almost looks like a seahorse right there. But it's just the bushy tail hanging, hanging down. It has a nice long tail. And here we have two, though I think that's like a grayish white and pink. And let's see. I'm going to choose to put that one right down here. Now 
that takes care of that sheet. Now we're going to alternate and we're going to go over to a sheet of the rainbow unicorns. And you see they're so adorable and they have rainbow manes and tails and we even have rainbow stickers and clouds and the word dream and the word sparkle. Oh, and we have a little tiny heart stickers too. Little bitty. So these you can just kind of scatter around and put all over the place. They make a nice little accent. And here's our first unicorn. We've come to the first unicorn. It, there it is. And I'm going to put the unicorn. I'm thinking I'm going to put it right down in here somewhere. Yeah, right there. And we have a rainbow sticker here. I remember I had a whole collection of puffy stickers that were rainbows. Uh, like this with the two clouds. One on each end. And I stuck those all over one of my trapper keepers. And I had this one, uh, it was green, I still remember, I think it was in the 7th grade. It was green and it had a horse on it. I loved that thing. And another unicorn there, sort of jumping up like he's happy. I'm going to put him right in the middle. I know I already have one there, but I just wanted to put him right there. And here on the edge, we have a small sticker and an absolutely tiny sticker, and they're both stars. So here's one, very small. I'm going to actually put that on the A for the word peace. So it's not really going to cover up the word. It's just a little extra embellishment in the tiny sticker. Oh, it's really small. <laughs> I'm going to put that up here on the P. That way it has a white behind it and it stands out more. If you put it here, you're not even going to see it. So we come to the first cloud and it has stars on it. And I'm always thinking that the clouds should go up here, even though I know it doesn't really matter. It just feels to me like the clouds should be higher up on the binder. And another unicorn here. Well, that's a big one. Well, it's about the same size as that one. Let's see. Let's come down to the smaller piece symbol. We're going to put it right in the middle. Like that. And then we have the word dream right here. I'm going to take that off. And I kind of want to put it on one of the peace signs. Um, let's see. Right here. I want it to kind of go in the same direction, like it's kind of bent that way. And I wanted it to go the same way as the peace signs, the way it's going. And another rainbow sticker. You have to be careful pulling this off or they'll they'll tear. And let's see. And again, it has clouds, so I don't really want to put it down here. I feel like it needs to be up here somewhere. Let's do it right there, right up near the top. Wait, sorry, right there. Boy, we're covering this thing up already. And we have a lot of stickers left. So we have another heart. Get that heart. And you know what I'm going to do with that heart? I'm going to put it right on this unicorn. Isn't that cute? Right in the middle of the unicorn. And we have two more tiny stars. And I'm thinking we can actually put the tiny stars maybe on the little ponies. If I can find a way like this one. That one works there for that one. It's kind of hard to see, but I stuck it on there. 
the next star is a little bit bigger. There. Now the My Little Ponies are not terribly big, um, but I can put the star on one of the unicorns, like that. There. There's more space on the unicorn bodies. So here's what it looks like. Oh, I'm sorry. These, these have wings. So I guess they're not technically unicorns. I know there's a name for it. It's the Pegasus is the horse with wings, but no horn. And I'm sure there are at least a dozen people who are champing at the bit to tell me what this is called, but it doesn't really matter because you have to remember that all words were made up and it's totally fine. We'll call it, we'll call it Frank, because when I can't remember something, I think it's best to just call it Frank. That way everybody thinks I'm wrong. So we have another Frank right here. We got a lot of Franks on here. It's getting crowded. The airspace is getting a little congested. Let's put it down here at the end of the word peace. Almost like he's kind of... Got his little front feet there on the peace sign. All right, and then we have another cloud, which I think should go up in here somewhere. We could actually put it really close to this other cloud, like a little collection of clouds in the sky. And another Frank. Let's see. Let's look down here around this flower. Maybe it's just about there. Yeah. And we have a heart sticker. Let's put this one on the uh, binder where the... Yeah, right there we have the uh, yellowish, greenish plaid. That looks good. And then we have the word sparkle. And it's kind of, it's not flat, it's kind of like that. Let's put that right here, like that. So over here we have dream, over here we have sparkle. And another Frank. Boy, we have a lot of these, don't we? I'm gonna go back to calling them unicorns. It just feels Oh my goodness, where are we going to put you? I can definitely tell we're going to be putting some on the back. I'm trying to distribute them evenly. Maybe right here. There we go. Just kind of overlapping the piece on a little bit. And another rainbow with the clouds. Let's do Okay, I have one there, one there. Mm, let's do one right here. There we go. That's kind of cool because it's right next to the rainbow tail on that My Little Pony. It looks good. And another little unicorn, a winged unicorn. A Frank. I'm thinking we'll put that one. And then in the bottom corner, we have these three stars. Large, medium, and small. Absolutely tiny. Look at that. <laughs> tiny. I'm going to put this star on the E. If I can get it off my thumb. <laughs> there we go. It's on the E. See, that way we can kind of put a few stickers on here, but not cover it up so you can't read it. Then the medium sized star, a little bit bigger. I'm gonna put that right about there on the B side. So it's going to show. And then the largest of the little star stickers, still kind of tiny. Um, I'm gonna put it right, right about there. Right next to this little guy. And that takes care.
care of all these stickers. And then we come back to my little pony, and I think for this round, um, I was trying to think if I want to um, put them on here or turn it over to the back. Let's go ahead and do one more sheet of these on the front. It's going to be really full. <laughs> and then one more sheet of these. And then we will use the last two sheets on the back. Okay. So again, we start up here with the three together. It's kind of similar to this one, except this has a different combination. That's a big sticker. They have a big area right there. And then the little one again. I love that dark purple for the mane and tail. It's really pretty. Let's see. A little area. Here's a little area. We could put this one right here. Like that. And then we have the two together on the cloud. That's a big one, actually. Um, let's see. We're going to sort of sandwich this one in between these two, with this one on the side. I think that looks good. And here's this little one again. They all look so sassy. Don't think they look sassy. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. We're going to put this one right about there. And these two look like they're high-fiving. Or high-hoofing or whatever they do. I don't, I don't know. Oh, see, I'm running out of large areas because I don't want to cover that up. Let's try right there. That'll work right there. Here's the little pink one again. Looking back over its shoulder. And there's the other one that we put down originally. So I want to move this one in another direction. I want it to be in a different place. How about right about there? Well, here's the little yellow one again. That makes me think of pink lemonade. Very small. How about... Where's the other one? Oh, right there. So we don't want to put it there. Why don't we come down here? We have a little spot here. Put it right there. And here's the purple. It's like a pastel purple one. There. Um, maybe right there. And here are the two. It looks like they're... Now they're fighting on the cloud or something. I don't really know. Um, I don't really have enough room right there. Um, there's oh, there's the other one. I don't want to put it there. Oh, just crowd it in right down here. And here's the little sassy one again. Maybe this one will fit up here. Right about there. And here are the three ponies together again. I really don't want to cover that up. <laughs> I'm running out of options. And I want to put it right there. How about we do something else? Um... Let's look down here. I'm gonna have to kind of um, wedge it in that little corner right there. Okay, here's the pastel purple one. And this one, we can fit right in there. Here are these two playing, being happy. That one will 
nest so perfectly right there. Oh, these two are hugging. That's cute. Now when we put some on the back, we won't be quite as restricted because we don't have to worry about a certain pattern or covering up anything. This is another big one. I think we can maybe fit it right there. Just barely. Here's the one again that looks like a seahorse. <laughs> to me it does. Anyway, it kind of looks like a seahorse. This one will fit right on the edge here. Like that. And then finally, we have these two together. Oh boy. I don't know that we're going to get any of the uh, next page on here. This one will go right here though. I'm trying not to overlap my stickers. So next we have another sheet of these. Now the smaller stickers won't be as much of a problem, but some of the bigger ones are going to pose a challenge. First again, we have a little heart. And you know, we can always put these on top of other stickers. I don't mind putting the little ones on. Like I can actually put that one right on a cloud. And then we have the little unicorn. There's a little bit of space down here, but not much. I can put him just there. We have three of them here. And another rainbow. I like to put these up here. I think it would be okay to put it in this top corner. It's not going to cover up enough to obstruct it. Too bad. Alright, and we have another one of these guys. They're all basically the same. They're just in slightly different poses. Um, ooh. <laughs> this is tough. Let's see. Oh, just barely, right there. And again, we have two little stars. This is the larger of the two. We could put a star on each letter. Put one on that A. We have one P, E, A, E. And we just need one on the C. And I have one right there. Put it right on there. And another cloud. And we just so happen to have a little bit of room right up there. Right there. So we have three clouds there. I think um, this little guy might go right there. And we have another dream sticker, but we have room on this little piece sign for that. Kind of right there. Dream. And I think we may put some of these on the binder's edge. There's a sticker right here that tells you it's a one inch binder. And I don't want to put stickers on top of that, but we can put a few down here. Like we could use one of these rainbows there. I want to do a rainbow and then this little guy here. Also, 
kind of beside the heart. Then this little dude right there. And then I want the word sparkle right under that. Now we're going to go back to the front and see if we can find room for the remaining stickers on this sheet. Okay. See, it looks really full now that we haven't really focused on it. I have a tiny star sticker. Don't want to forget. It's possibly small. I'm going to put it on a pony. these fellas. Oh me. <laughs> it's tough. I'm gonna have to put it right there, I think. And our fourth cloud would fit right there quite nicely. And another heart there. And we'll put the heart on this little Another rainbow. My goodness, we are we are blessed with rainbows. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. wow, because it, it kind of takes up a bit of room, so you can't put it just anywhere. How about we have a double rainbow? I know it's not that's not what it really is, but now. It One more little guy. Let's look down here and see what we can do. There's an open area here. Maybe it's in there. And one more. And then we have the three stars after this. Um, I think this one can go right about. Right about there. That's good. Now we have the three stars. We'll start with the tiny star. Like that. Very tiny. I'm going to put it on my little modified double rainbow. Right in the middle. Why not? And then the medium star. I'm going to put all by itself just there next to the word sparkle on the peace sign. And then the largest star down there in that corner, we'll put it over here on this peace sign. And that takes care of that sheet. Now it's really covered quite nicely. And we're going to turn this over. And of course we still have one sheet of each. And we're going to turn this over and put those on the back. You can see where that one sticker <laughs> overlapped a little bit. I messed up. Alright, so we're back to My Little Pony again. And back here we have a lot more leeway. I want to keep, I try to keep this open. But we have plenty of room. So we have the first big one, and I just feel drawn to this part right there. The little one here. This one kind of reminds me of my cat pumpkin. I'm not really sure why. Something about the way it's standing there looking off. This pumpkin is one of my little cats, and she's a like a Siamese mix, and she's very quiet and timid, but she always looks so mannerly. I mean, she's she's just always looks so prim and proper the way she stands there. Like, it's she's all formal. It's, it's kind of cute. And she would, she would do that. She kind of stands there like that sometimes. She's like a little little lady all the time. Now, here are the two on the cloud. Let's come down here. I'm going to do that one. 
No, it's a cloud. Mary, put it up here. And here's this one again. Come down here with this one. We'll put that one down here. We'll cover up this little whatever it is down here. Distributed by blah blah blah. Well, here are the two high hoofing each other. I think we should put that right under where it says check this out. Yeah, I like that. Here's a little sassy pink one. Looking over its shoulder, like, what do you want? And we'll put that one right there. There's a little yellow one. We'll put that one right there. And a pastel purple. out right there. And here they are doing whatever it is they're doing. I don't know if they're fighting or what they're doing. Dancing. I don't know. But it's a cloud, so we'll stick that one up there. Here's a little sassy one. And here are three of them together again. Let's um, cover up this stuff with that. And a little pastel purple one with the black and fuchsia mane and tail. I'm gonna do Again with the cloud looking happy. We'll put them up there. Oh, these two are hugging. It's cute. Um put that right there. And the one that looks like the little uh, horse seahorse. Um, right there. And finally we have these two standing back to back. Just kind of weird seeing as how they're ponies, but they're doing other stuff that doesn't make any sense to me either, so that's cool. I want to leave this space open, so I want to put that one right So that's, that's all of the My Little Pony stickers, and now we move on to the last sheet of these stickers with the little unicorn things, and the hearts, and the stars, and the rainbows and clouds, and the dream and sparkle. So we come up to the little heart, cute little heart. Now, I want to put it on a solid color, not the, not this checkity stuff. I'm going to put it right there, where it really stands. in the first frank of this sheet, right there. And we're just going to start mixing these in with the ponies, because they like to play together. And the little rainbow again. These really do remind me of the puffy, puffy stickers I had. I'm going to put one up in this corner. They weren't the scratch and sniff, they were, it was just, you know, you, you, I'm sure you've seen them, you push on them and they just feel puffy. I love those. And another little guy here. Let's put him up there. And then we have the two stars. This is the bigger one. I want to put that one up here somewhere. And then the little one. Little bitty. Um, I'm going to put that on him. To give him a little flare. And then we have the cloud with the stars. I'm going to put that one right about there. And another little 
dude. It's kind of blank down here. Let's put it down here. And then we have the word dream. And just for now, I'm going to put that right here. Above, check this out. And another rainbow. See? Oh, let's put it right over him if we can. Kind of like, yeah, like that. So it's right over him. And another heart. Pretty little heart. Um, put that one down here. I like it with the black background because it really stands out. Because if you put it on these squares, it's just going to kind of blend in because the colors are so close. Oh, and we have two more stars. It's a tiny one. So little. Um, I'm going to put that one on a pony again, like I did one of the other ones. And a bigger star. I'm going to put on him. Put that right on him. Another little dude. Um, let's put that one right about there. And one more. See, one more. And we have a little room right here. And one more. <laughs> I have a lot of these. Oh, um, right there. That's a good spot. And now we come to a cloud. We don't have any clouds really over here. Let's put one right there. Like he's getting ready to jump up on the cloud. And then we come to the word sparkle. And I'm going to put it right here. So it kind of says, sparkle dream. <laughs> Check this out. And then they're high-fiving right under it. And right over that sparkle dream, I'm going to put another rainbow sticker where you have one cloud over dream and one cloud over sparkle. So it just kind of arches over the two words. And this is our last uh, heart sticker. Let's put that one. Let's be daring and put that one right there. Another Frank. I'm going to put this Frank right about there. And this is our last Frank. Oops. Don't want to tear him. Where should we put our last one? Only have two here, one there. One, two, three. How about two right about? No, not there. Hmm. I don't know, that kind of makes sense. I'll just stick them right there. And then finally, we have the little stars. We'll start with the tiniest one, the smallest. And I'm going to put it on a, on a heart. I'm going to give a heart a star. Then we have the medium-sized star. This area is kind of blank. So I'm going to put it about there. And then finally, our last sticker is the biggest star. And I'm going to put it right So here we have our bag. This is the bag, so you can see all the really cool stickers that we put on here. They look great. And it's kind of awkward, but we put some here too, beneath the big sticker. And then of course the front is just crazy. You can still kind of see the design and the word peace there. 
So it is all decorated and ready to go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I got to enjoy the stickers in the binder with me. And I hope that I get to see you again really soon.